The popularity of non-overseeded Bermuda grass is growing throughout the southern regions of the country. Uh, what we're going to show you is a visit to a course where we saw the effort being uh, undertaken pretty, pretty aggressively to uh, remove all of the cool season grasses from Bermuda grass and uh, to try to convert the course to straight Bermuda grass non-overseeded in the winter. This picture pretty well sums up some of the problems that we see in uh, areas that are not ideal for Bermuda grass growth. But what you see is uh, the right half of the photo uh, has been treated with revolver. And the revolver has removed all of the poa annua in this heavily infested area and has pretty much uh, cleaned up the, uh, the poa annua. There was new Bermuda grass sod that was placed in, this, in the worst area that was uh, occupied by the poa or had invaded by the poa. And in that Bermuda grass, you can see some uh, clumpy ryegrass. That clumpy ryegrass was actually brought in uh, on the Bermuda sod that was not supposed to be overseeded, but there's a little bit of uh, contamination from the, uh, from the ryegrass in the Bermuda grass sod. Now I'm going to take a little pan around the area there just to give you an idea of what the uh, dead poa and what the ryegrass in the Bermuda looks like. See the revolver did a great job, but look at how much uh, ryegrass came in on the uh, the Bermuda sod. I don't think this is uh, too uncommon, but you definitely have to uh, knock that material out with a product like revolver. And the bottom half of that photograph shows where the uh, revolver has been applied in February. This is an April image, and then we'll uh, end up with uh, showing the poa that has been controlled also.